Hey everybody, this is John Pagano, Historical Interpretations Supervisor at Henrikus Historical Park. Here I am in Henrikus Church. And it reminds us of when Pocahontas is going to marry John Rolfe in April of 1614. And the letter that we have from Sir Thomas Dale where it describes they're married in the church. But I'm going to take us back to the situation where Pocahontas will get to marry John Rolfe. And that's going to be March of 1614. Sir Thomas Dale is going to finally answer Powhatan's demand to come see him at his capital, Matchcock. So Sir Thomas Dale is going to put 150 men, armor and muskets, on board a ship. Pocahontas is on that ship, Secretary Ralph Hamer and John Rolfe. And they're going to go up to the Powhatan capital. And there is a confrontation that takes place. And that confrontation is subdued. When Pocahontas is going to demand to see her father, her father will say, no, I'm not going to see you. And she'll ultimately be talking to her brothers on board Dale's ship. Be John Rolfe that is actually going to meet with uh, emissaries of Powhatan. And those two conversations where Pocahontas and John Rolfe are both speaking, history hasn't recorded what they said in those conversations. But what we do know is that there will be a marriage. Um, it will be Rebecca Rolfe who will marry John Rolfe in April of 1614. And as the letter says, in the church. Now, where is that church? Is that church at Henricus? Is the church at Bermuda City? Or is the church at Jamestown? Where exactly did they get married? It's kind of a history mystery. We're not sure. Not sure if we ever will know. The other part of this is that Pocahontas, after she marries John Rolfe, when it's Rebecca and John Rolfe, they have a son, Thomas. They are going to go to England in 1616 with Sir Thomas Dale. And there, well, Pocahontas will kind of go on tour for the Virginia Company. She's in some ways a celebrity, but in London, uh, it's got bad air. She's going to struggle with her lungs and they'll bring her out of town and recover some. But it'll be, of course, the following spring to which she is going to get on board a ship to come back to Virginia and coming down the Thames will contract an illness. History hasn't recorded what that illness is, but she will succumb to it in graves in England. And there today, she is buried where she was laid to rest. And that is going to be under the St. George Church in Gravesend, England. Thanks for watching.